Hi Curl Friends, welcome back to my channel, at Rageous Curls. In today's video, I'm sharing another compare and contrast of the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie versus the Acantu Coconut Curling Cream on my braid out. Keep watching to see more. First things first, I wash my curls and coils as usual using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. What I love about this sulfate free shampoo is that it clarifies your curly hair without stripping any of the natural oils and helps restore your curly hair. After I've rinsed out the shampoo, I then followed up with the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. This hair mask is great for anyone with super dry damaged hair and if you have low porosity hair as well, this product soaks into your curls and coils easily and deeply moisturises and nourishes your natural hair. And here are the curling creams that I'll be using for my braid out. Here is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie that I'll be using on one side. And here is the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream that I'll be using on the other side of the braid out. I use a microfiber towel to help dry my natural hair, but I don't leave it on my head for too long because I want my natural hair to be damp. For the best results on a braid out, you want your natural hair to be damp, not soaking wet nor dry. You also want to section out your natural hair you can do this whilst you are going along or you can section it out beforehand and make partings, do whatever works best for you. Here is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and here is the consistency of the product. You can see it is quite thick so you don't need to use a lot as a little can go a long way. The Curl Enhancing Smoothie has great slip which is great for finger detangling and it defines the curls and coils really well and this deeply moisturises and nourishes your curls and coils. This product can work wonders and it is great to use for washing goes and protective styles. I make sure to use enough for each section to ensure all of my natural hair strands are thoroughly moisturised. For the best result on a braid out you want to make sure that all of your natural hair strands are thoroughly moisturised as this will benefit your natural hair and it will also provide the best curl definition. Once you've applied the product and you've finger detangled a few more times, you then want to start the braid. Braids are easy to do once you know how to do them. Twists are easier, especially if you are just starting out. Braids require you to use three sections of your hair, whereas twists only requires you to use two parts of your hair. However, a braid can hold its shape more compared to twists. I do try to make them as tight as possible so I can get the best wave curl definition. And I will finger to coil to help the ends from unraveling and to define the ends of my hair. Braids are a great protective style to help you grow your natural hair and you can leave the braids in for however long you like to really, for a week or up to four to six weeks. Braids are great for anyone starting out their natural hair journey to grow out their damaged ends and to strengthen their natural hair and it's a great way to just blend all of the damaged ends and your new hair growth. You can, if you want to, use extensions to do box braids. I have a few tutorials on this already linked above here if you are interested in trying to do it yourself instead of going to the hairdresser. Braids can take 45 to 50 minutes to do for the entire head so it is a longer process compared to twists which takes 30 minutes to do. the same process on the other side using the Canty Coconut Curling Cream. I was trying to get a good light in there so you could see the consistency and the colour of the product. As you can see it differs a bit to the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and as you could see as well it was a slightly looser consistency but similar to Shea Moisture. It has great slip to help finger detangle and it provides a great hold and definition on the curls and coils and provides great moisture to your natural hair. However, I do feel because the consistency of the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream is looser, it does not give as strong of a hold for wash and goes, but it does give you more shine to your curls and coils compared to Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I sometimes like to keep braids in between two to three days before I take the braids out. This is to get the best 
curl wave definition for my braid out and also I am working a nine-to-five job I do work full-time alongside doing YouTube and social media but it is easy for me with a nine-to-five job to just shower and go and not worry about styling my hair first thing in the morning so braids are great if you just want an easier and quick morning routine if you don't like to keep the braids in for a few days a lot of people don't like to because they might find it uncomfortable to sleep in but you still want to get that best curl definition make sure you have enough time in the day to let your natural hair dry for the best results i have found for my natural hair it takes between six to eight hours for my natural hair to dry with the braids and to get the best results for the curl definition. Is the braids done curl friends they look so good and they already make my natural hair look really healthy so now I'm back here after having the braids in for three days I'm just going to spray some water to help reactivate the products and add more moisture and hydration to my natural hair to get the best results of the braid out you want to get hold of each of the three ends of the braid and then unravel slowly and try not to separate the ends too much and make sure they keep their shape to get the best definition and to reduce frizz. It also keeps the curls and coils looking healthy and shiny too. Before I would try to rush the process and it would cause a lot of frizz so all the effort that I would make to try and get that definition was just wasted and from that mistake I realised I need to just take my time so I'd recommend that for you as well. Just take your time and make sure you are gentle with your natural hair to reduce knots and tangles. The unraveling process takes about 15 minutes to do, so make sure to put your favourite TV episode on or your favourite film whilst you are doing this. And look at that, my natural hair looks so shiny and healthy and the definition is amazing. Once you have done, undone the... Bleh. Once you have undone the braids, you want to just fluff it out so you can just make sure it looks more natural and you can do this by using your favourite oil for this stage to help seal in the moisture and add more shine and to reduce frizz during the stage of just fluffing out your natural hair to make it look more full and to just add more volume to your natural hair. And that is it curl friends. I am so happy with the results. My natural hair looks so good with this amazing wave curl definition. And can you believe it is only curling creams I used? Comment below which size do you think gave me the best result? Shea Moisture or Cantu? Let me know as I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and let me know if you have tried any of these products. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay tuned to my curly hair uploads and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the curly hair fun. I hope you have a lovely week, keep it fun, keep it curly, stay true and see you in the next video.